Hey guys, my name is Casey and welcome into the Polarity Studio. Today we're going to be doing a low flow in long sweatpants and socks. So make sure you've got your sweatpants and socks and if you're at home using a carpet around your pool, make sure you have something long sleeve on as well just to protect your shoulders. Go ahead and do a warm up and then meet me by the pool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you the entire combo and while you're watching and then when you're doing it afterwards, I want you to think about full body dramatic movements, okay? We're staying low near the ground, so you have to kind of make up for that lack of vertical axis with big arm and whole spinal movements. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. All right, that's the entire combo. Let's go ahead and get started with the first few steps. Standing beside your pole, facing the back of the pole, you're gonna bring your inside foot close to the base of the pole and point your toes, bending your knee slightly. From here, bring a slight arch into your back. We're gonna do a front walk over. So the way this is gonna work, the outside arm is gonna reach up from behind you and you're gonna fold forward. This outside arm becomes your support on the floor the inside arm, palm faces forward, grabs the pole. Regular grip, thumb on one side, fingers on the other side of the pole. From here, you're gonna kick with your inside foot and keep this leg bent. It's going to hit the ground first. So it'll look something like this. That outside leg, toes stay pointed, legs stay straight. You're gonna land in this position. Let's try that one more time. Good. Once you've landed in this position, you're gonna take a back roll over the outside shoulder. So in this case, it's my left shoulder. I'm gonna roll over my left shoulder, pushing with my inside hand from the pole for a little bit of momentum. Rolling over the shoulder, I'm gonna to look to my outside shoulder side, reach back with the inside foot, press with the hands, and then you're sort of in this warrior lunge position. From here, you're gonna keep the momentum going, Stand all the way up, big dramatic sweep of the arm. Let's do that one more time. From our position here, rolling over the outside shoulder, I'm gonna press away with the inside arm, look to the outside shoulder, reach, 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 reach. Keep one toe pointed just like this. Beautiful, from here we're gonna move on to the first spin. You're going to step and sweep with this outside leg Good, step with the other leg. And then from this position, the outside leg should be forward, inside leg should be back. You're going to reach for the pole with the inside arm, forearm is on the pole. This is gonna allow you to stay away from the pole slightly instead of hugging your entire chest into it. Pressing through this forearm, you're going to leap, grab with this top hand, cup grip, and take a little bit of a back bend, sweep your inside leg forward, so let me show you. Back bend, sweep. One more time. Forearm, cup grip is gonna reach as you jump. You go, back bend, sweep. Inside leg sweeping forward. Good, and then your inside foot lands. Let's try the whole thing together from the beginning. Standing behind the pole, point those toes. Here we go, outside arm reaches, fold forward. Kick, land, roll over the outside shoulder. Sweep up, big reach, turn and step inside foot, step outside foot, forearm, back bend, cup grip, kick. Good, and we'll land in this position. If you need to practice, go ahead and pause the video, just work on that section. Okay, good. Now that we've practiced that a little bit, let's pick it up from there. So you've just ended the first part of your spin, your inside foot has landed, your outside foot is bent and lifted. You're in this position currently, cup grip of the outside arm. From here, this cup grip hand, top hand is gonna become your support. You're gonna take a turn 
inside towards the pole. As you do so, flip your cup grip hand to regular grip, and the other hand comes behind your back, and you're in this sort of Juliet spin position. You're gonna sweep your legs to the other side, just like this. So let's do that one more time. You've landed from your spin, cup grip with the outside arm. Turn in, flip regular grip, grab behind, sweep. And we're in this gate position. Let's do it with the spin. And you land in your gate position. Awesome, let's move on from here. We're gonna fireman up, but with a little bit of dramatic flair. So from here, you're gonna kick this inside leg back, open the heart, open the throat, kind of take this back bend, and as you do so, reach that outside hand for the pull. You're winding up, building some momentum. And now you're gonna whip that outside leg forward, fireman up, just like that. Let's practice that one more time. We're in our gate position. Inside arm high. You're gonna take a big, dramatic, open point the toes, grab, and whip it forward. You're pulling as you fireman up so you can build some vertical access. Go ahead and practice that a couple times if you need, and then we're ready to finish out the combo. Once you finish the fireman up portion of the combo, we'll start here. Last thing we're gonna do is hook that leg to finish it out. So take your back bend, your heart opens, lift it up, pull, and from here, inside foot, hooks the knee, toes point down, release, look down, take a little back bend, look up, do whatever you'd like, and that finishes our combo. Make sure that that inside foot's pointed. All right, if you've practiced the sections before, we're ready to take the whole thing together. Let's do it. All right, thanks for practicing with me. Make sure you even out your sides, rewind the video to your other side, and have fun.